Hey YouTube, uh, it's been a little decent time before I had an update video. Um, so we got two 37Gs. For the price I got these at a local place, I couldn't beat it. I said, I gotta take them. So, install those. They'll be later down the road, part of the open stack little setup. But, um, yeah, a little update about this side and the open stack side is, uh, slowly implementing, testing out different flavors. I have messed with OpenStack and Dev1, DevStack, and as well I've been messing with uh, Ubuntu Autopilot, which sounds a bit more tedious to set up since it uses mass and um, deploys its own instances to the physical servers. So yeah, but here's a little update showing uh, there's not much been changed for this side. And then, uh, still the same. So, yeah. And I'll uh, take you guys to the OpenStack sign, so, check you back there. So, here we got the OpenStack setup. Um, right now, this is for Ubuntu Autopilot. This is the Max. This is Node 1, Node 2. Things would set up. Node not 2, Node 1, I flipped them around. Um, there's a 2960G. And here is the bank with the setup. So we have using two NICs for each one. Um, this is the mass. This is the public network coming in. This is the private. This would control everything the other ones would do. But this is a little bit more, a little tedious to set up. Let's see. Which one am I into? Open oh, side 2. So, uh, yeah, I mean, once I figure out which one I want to implement, I'll make a cool video about it, but as an update for all you guys have been waiting and wondering, um, each of these servers, I made them identical, so this one has 40 gigs of RAM, this one has 40 gigs of RAM, and this one's 24, because it's just the node we have, since not worried about redundancy, it's under production, this is just a lab. RAID 0, two SSDs, these are uh, Dell SSDs, they're only like 25 gigabytes each, so I mirrored it, so we got 52 some gigabytes, or 50, no, I think they're 28 gigabyte SSDs, or something like that, we got three 146 um, SAS drives, 15.2 thousand RPMs, and they're all identical, and mirrored into RAID 5. So we have 227 approximately usable, more than plenty for OpenStack. Um, so yeah, these two uh, will be the compute nodes, this will be the mass. But um, well, hopefully everything works out properly, then I can get this to work. Um, I still need to get into my the Cisco switch and turn off the sensing ports because it really drives me nuts. When a server reboots, it flips the port off and takes a good 10 minutes and my pixie boot won't pick up, so I gotta configure that. But once I get that done, we should probably start seeing the nodes populate on my dashboard. Um, so yeah, I will show you guys the dashboard. So we're here at the dashboard. Um, since I'm not gonna be doing any screen recording, I'm just gonna show you guys quick. This is the mass controller. There's a controller itself right there. Um, as you can see, okay, it's 48. So 48 gigabytes, 49, if you went around it. 24 gigs of RAM, 8 cores, 1 physical CPU, it's a Xeon 5560, I think. And then we have our public, which is my internal IP. And this is the private for the OpenStack. Images, I have one imported. We got 16.4 is your LTS. Don't need anything else. DNS is running on this. Zones, yeah, I don't have any set up just using the default one, and then here I have my fabrics and spaces set up. So, right now, I, since I already have DNS servers, DCP servers, and DNS servers on my regular network, I'm not doing any IPs, these are just static. So, I don't feel like doing three DCP servers and get all confused. So, there's that. 
here's some uh, little s settings DCP snippets you can always do that am I going to um, and then here you, you can you set up the APIs SSH keys stuff like that so yeah once we get it started you can add a node manually or you can do it with pixie boot that it shows up but oh and the reason why there's power type mass fires up its nodes when it needs uh, more utilization or the servers are being uh, look uh, text down with current um, processes so what happens is mass since it controls everything it controls all the nodes it will fire up another server automatically even if it's not even preloaded or pre-configured it will pixie boot and the cool thing is if we go over here I'm trying to find it these settings and then right here storage I have an option I can erase node disks prior to releasing so it kind of uh, formats them but yeah it's a pretty cool little uh, it's machine as a service it's what large data centers use to set these things up and have uh, much more of a scalable setup and then once I get it up and running I already got my wake on land pre recorded so yeah um, stay tuned for the next update Thanks guys, bye.